And here we are, folks, in game two. Control out the lead versus Victoria's Secret. VS up one nothing right now as they are all here. Looney Tune actually just missing all of Control out the lead. In going into the bush. Oh, this could be absolutely devastating if he walks in. We are going to see what happens there. But another flash start coming out from Waffle Waffle, knowing that he is going to take a lot of poke coming out from Jorman uh, on that Lissandra. Now, uh, you, we talk about this, guys. You know that I am a. I am a very big advocate of, of supports, since I am a support main myself. Amulet start coming out from Chaos Claw. Letting me down a little bit. Uh, their sustain is going to be subpar. Uh, still better, considering the fact that Chaos Claw does have a heal on that Alistair. Uh, they do get spotted out by a ward, though, as, control, uh, as Victoria's Secret know that they're there. They have already answered the call. Seal in the blue away. It is looks um now Control Out Elite don't know that this is happening. But they can naturally assume Apollo should just go straight for his red. And both uh junglers are just gonna go. And a lane swap! A lane swap happening for Control Out Elite now. Ha! Huh, I am, I am intrigued. They didn't necessarily do this uh, very well, uh, but it's all. It can still work, considering the fact that VS Rambo on that severe is going to push that lane, going to help Lissandra just farm under turret and soak up that XP. And they are punishing that Scion. They are punishing that Scion. With a 2v1. Caitlyn going to chunk out. Now they need to make sure they zone him. And make that freeze happen in the top lane. If they're not able to freeze that top lane. Scion can do exactly what Jorman is doing. And leech the XP under tower. And maybe pick up a CS here or there. Already Jorman up in CS versus his counterpart. Waffle Waffle now Planeswalker actually being super aggressive here. Afro... Or sorry, Afro Apollo. Kind of getting out pressured um, by this Fizz early on. But it looks like all is going to be calm. Now Planeswalker did a full clear, gets caught out by Apollo right now, waits for the Q, nice engage onto there, but Valorant is gonna help out his support, exhaust being dropped, Apollo needs to flash over the wall and get out of there, cause Looney Tune was coming as well. So nice heads up play from Valorant, helping his jungler, knowing that Fizz can be a little bit of, uh, can get a little bit of danger, actually helping him clear out uh, his red. So Valoran did clear that full bottom jungle of Apollo that here comes the roam from Waffle Waffle knowing that he can't really get anything done up there. S trying to see if he can make something happen here in the mid lane. As well, this freeze. This freeze from Control Alt Elite. Absolutely great. They have it in a very good place right now, too, in prep for any dives. Jorman, though, needs to make sure that... Uh, well, his lane is now pushing out. A little bit of a mistake from him. Kind of uh, pushing his wave a little too hard. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Mesu is actually behind in farm, thanks to the pressure that Planeswalker was able to put early so already that matchup not looking the best for Mesu but Apollo is just gonna go and clear his jungle yet again I would have much rather 
<sighs> I I like this lane swap. I like the idea. Oh, but there's the Zenith Blade from Jorman taking a lot of damage. Is able to claw away. Now that that lane, now that that freeze is broken, they need to call up Apollo. Right here, they need to call up Apollo, and they need to dive Waffle. This is exactly what's happening right now. No, this is not exactly what's happening right now. Apollo's not going to do it. So a little bit of a mistake right here. They can rotate down Chaos Claw to help Jorman right now, because Jarman is having a little bit of trouble. This early dragon... And there it is, knowing that the jungler, where the jungler is right now, knowing that dragon has just been taken, they need to fast push this top laner. Top lane. But Apollo is not in position. Apollo is not in position. He is in mid lane trying to make something happen there, but Diana is 6. It's not going to work. And a missed opportunity from Control Alt Elite. I you see what they're trying to do here, but the execution is just not there. Uh, whether it's lack of practice or just simply lack of understanding of how lane swaps are supposed to work, they're not taking advantage of this as much as possible. Now, with that said, Jorman does have a CS advantage over Waffle Waffle, though. But Chaos Claw not zoning Waffle Waffle as much as he could possibly. But VS Rambo and Valorant trying very hard and failing on freezing that lane. It looks like they're just going to opt out for a fast push. Now, they could call down Planeswalker to take out that tower. Regardless, these two teams kind of not... <laughs> Kind of playing the middle of the road. Not freezing, yet not fast pushing. And this is this is what happens when lane swaps happen and they either are very misinformed or they're not practice. So Valorant trying to see if they he could actually steal that blue buff away, but Messu is just going to pick that up for himself. So a nice pickup for him. Now Skirmisher Savers picked up from Apollo. Interesting pickup. Oh, ultimate from Waffle Waffle will go on to Chaos Claw. Gets the knock up onto Tintar and actually doing quite a bit of damage as he f just single handedly forces them out. Meanwhile, Masu lands the charm onto Looney Tune to try to stop the aggression, but he's low on mana right now. Doesn't want to donate that blue buff over. And actually is going to get forced to recall out of lane. Looney Tunes starting to ramp up now as he act uh, is going for that Abyssal Scepter first. Nice smart pickup knowing that there is a lot of poke potential coming out from an Ari. Mesu will go for that Chalice in response. Getting that MR. And with the chalice, chalice a buff that increased that hundred percent mana increase or mana regen on that item is will be a solid pickup. We'll be able to keep up the poke, hopefully, on Looney Tune. Now a catalyst for Jorman. I really like that. Uh, wanting to be a little bit more tanky isn't going for that big, bursty, greedy Lissandra build. And they actually switch Jorman up back up top to Waffle Waffle. Without towers being down at all, I am really confused in what the point of that lane swap was, seeing as there really is no benefit. If anything, c control out the lead. Lost that lane swap. Because Waffle Waffle has caught up in CS now to Jorman. And Rambo has a CS advantage 
versus Tintaren. Oh, fish from Planeswalker not hitting. Messi will just walk out of that, keeping his Spirit Rush on hand. So, absolutely, that lane swap not going in favor of Control Alt Delete at all, considering they were the ones to initiate. That Waffle Waffle actually quite strong versus Jarman right now. Has picked up the makings of the the Crystalline Bracer. So an early Warmog's or for the glory might come out of Waffle Waffle. I would really like a for the glory to come out of him. Uh, mar like matched with on the hunt from Sevier would be a great initiation. We'll get him in there. While making him tanky too, as it does build up from the uh, catalyst. But yeah, Rambo has a CS advantage versus Tintaren right now. Jarman getting bullied in that top lane. Waffle Waffle will initiate. Unfortunately, missing his ulti, but at this point, I don't think it matters. Nice Ice Tomb from Jarman will. Try to trade, but there is no follow-up there. Only downside to starting Catalyst for Lissandra. The damage early on, not really there until it starts stacking up. But nice Q from Valorant, poking on to Chaos Class. They he Zenith Blades. VS Rambo, though, just opting to farm out. Hitting that 100 CS at the 12-minute mark. Not too shabby, all things considering. But Apollo actually shows himself in the bush. He gets pinged out. Planeswalker is here though for a lane gank. They have that vision control thanks to a pink in that bush. Apollo will get spotted out though. Will want to go. Nice Zenith Blade onto Apollo. But Mesu is here too. Gets headbutt pulverized combo. Valorant flashes out. Nice fish. Will knock them up. Uh, ultimate from Caitlyn not going to be enough though. And no one dies in that exchange all the meanwhile with Mesu roaming Looney Tune will pick up that middle tower now health bars for control off the lead not really there Mesu needs to get out of there as they try this Looney Tune full health they will go Tin Taren will just explode to Rambo as first blood 13 minutes in will go over double kill for VS Rambo but he's not done right now he's going on to Jama uh, German triple kill for Rambo will he they let him have the quadra they do knock it up but nah scumbag waffle waffle will take that for himself as the dragon will also go in favor of Victoria's Secret And just like that, a very passive early start explodes in favor of Victoria's Secret as they take up that team fight in the Dragon Pit. Again, control out the lead. <laughs> Questionable calls. Mesu was already very low health with that gank coming, so they did not have his damage available in that fight. Plus, taking knowing that Looney Tune had taken middle turret um, and would roam down uh, questionable call coming from a control out delete for that dragon and they will pay the price for that a 4k gold advantage in favor of Victoria's Secret as well thanks in part to the CS lead that VS Rambo has along with all the kills on him actually just went back to finish that infinity edge Tin Terran has slowly has the components for it, but still quite a ways away. Now Apollo trying to lane gank, but a Vision Ward will catch him. Nice Zenith Blade onto Valoran. Does have Planeswalker with a VS Rambo here as well. On the hunt being popped in Terran for it to flash out. A nice a Pulverize will help disengage that fight in Tin Terran. Thanks to his support, we'll make it out alive. So Mesu has now starting to push that mid lane, trying to answer with a tower of himself. But it looks like all the resources for VS is in this bot lane as Rambo is pecking away at it. Or picking away from it. He is not a bird. 
He is not a plane. He is a severe. Going to pick away at it with boomerangs. And uh, the fascia from severe paying dividends here. Waffle Waffle has still yet to catch up truly in farm, but is up a kill. Jarman trying to uh, take out that T1 tower, but gets ganked by Waffle Waffle as he returns back to lane. A lot of damage here. Ice Tomb from Jorman is popped to try to disengage Waffle Waffle. Not hitting his ulti, but at this moment the claw is going to be enough. Apollo catches Valorant, putting in deep wards in their jungle. But with Looney Tune waiting in the wings along with Planeswalker, it looks like oh <laughs> Rambo is just gonna solo kill Tintaren. Chaos Claw not really uh, helping his or not there to help his ADC as he was just returning back into lane. Now control out the elite. Kind of in a precarious situation, word of the day, as Victoria's Secret are in the driving seat. Matthew though explodes with a Spirit Rush, catching Valorant with a charm. They go on to Rambo right now. He is getting chunked out. Last Spirit Rush, but charm missing. Could have been lights out. The re-engage coming out from Planeswalker, though he flashes in. VS Rambo picks up the kill as well. 5-0-1 oh, on that Savior. They do go to Apollo as Rambo chases him down, but is careful not to get turned around on with the Q. Is low on health points and mana as well. All the gold for Victoria's Secret is on the person that they want. They definitely got the severe snowballing right now. Meanwhile, Lunatune it has finished that Abyssal and already picked up that needlessly large rod. As well as Mesu. He has finished that Athenes sitting on a rod now. Uh, I can just imagine both these mid laners are going to go for that Zanya's Jarman though getting uh, picked apart a flash from Looney Tune over the wall a little bit of a preemptive but does get the crescent strike the uh, Jarman flashes that as well nice nice ice tune for disengage probably not needed but Jorman, with the help of Apollo will get out alive waffle waffle again missing his ultimate oh for three Fun stat, <laughs> but Zenith played from Valorant will catch out Apollo Exhaust his drop. Uh, Mesu is there though uh, to help his jungler again. No kills, just the teams poking around. But VS Rambo left to his own devices down here. Tintaren and Chaos Claw not really wanting to deal with that, but oh my goodness, the crit coming out from VS Rambo. Uh, they will actually catch Chaos Claw as well. He does pop the medallion, but it's not going to be enough. Oh, Boomerang not missing, but Planeswalker not actually picking up the kill. A misplay from Rambo. Thinking that his Boomerang had range, but it's a very stubby Boomerang. Not wanting to go too, too far. Now Dragon is up. And VS in a position to take it. And they will. No contention from Control of Elite, seeing as they don't have any vision on that side of the map whatsoever. As the third Dragon of the game will go in favor of Victoria's Secret. Control of Elite! need to find some something right now they really just need to find something or this game is going to be too far out of reach to come back from they need a risky play they need a pick they need a more aggressive warding all their wards right now a very defensive base 
as they kind of clear out the ward. But nice solar flare coming out onto Tin Terran, and he is not long for this word world. Medallion being popped from Chaos Claw to help Apollo and him disengage. But without their ADC, Victoria's Secret are just going to uh, push this middle. Um, we'll actually rotate for that last T1 turret. Not. Can't blame them for that. It is free gold. We'll just clean out the jungle of the control out delete on the way. And control out delete in a bit of a pickle. Uh, but they can still, this game is still far from over right now. They do have a lot of pick potential from Jorman and Mesu. Zenith Blade on to Jorman though. Valorant here, the rest of his team following up. Nice claw away from Jorman. Apollo uh, doing what he can to help uh, protect this turret. But two levels behind of Planeswalker, Fish is... Thrown out, Jarman surely going to fall. Double kill for Waffle Waffle. As they easily tower dive this. Now off the back of that, Control Out Elite do take that middle turret. Tin Terran is working away at that bottom as well. But at what cost? T2 top tower fall for Control Out Elite. Tin Terran will pick this up, so a two for two trade in towers. But the tower quality going in favor of Victoria's Secret as they pick themselves up a T2. Wards being placed down now for that Baron. Pit, Scuttle will be slowly taken by Waffle Waffle. Fortun unfortunately, Scion not having tremendous amounts of damage. A Planeswalker will actually take over. Helping his top laner out. Now a desperate trade from Control Out Delete, knowing that they would they would not win a fight trading that T2 tower for the T1s. Uh, do help them with that global gold. Um, they are 7k gold though in the hole versus Victoria's Secret. Uh, Rambo sporting a 50 CS advantage versus Tin Terran. Surprisingly though, the same can be said, a 30 CS advantage for Jorman in favor of Control Out Delete in that top lane, but Waffle Waffle 3-0-0 for the glory completed, has a gi sitting on a giant's belt. That Scion is huge. But mid lanes Surprisingly even in farm right now, but four assists under the belt of Looney Tune already finished that Zanyas. Nice uh Medallion popped up by Chaos Claw, but on the hunt for Rambo, they turn onto Valorin. Not really the person that they want to go. Exhaust on Rambo as they pick up Apollo. That's one. Planeswalker will pick up Tin Terran off the back of it too. Valorin survived, but uh Looney Tune will pick up another one. Double kill for Planeswalker on that Fizz and all for that Valorant gets out with his life a 4 for nothing trade in favor of Victoria's Secret Gold advantage now 10k in favor of VS as they will pick away at the first inhib turret. Apollo tries to do what he can, but just gets deleted by Looney Tune. So much damage from that Diana. And Masu going for a Rabadon's death cap. I can't blame him right now. They really just need all the damage that they can get. Masu actually picking a Valorant off of that. Um, Poor positioning, knowing that Rambo and Looney Tune have already backed off. Does get caught out. They really just need to gamble on that damage. Mesu might catch Looney Tune and Zonya's being popped, but Mesu will easily pick that up. And the blue buff for himself as well. 
and this is exactly what Control Alt Delete need to do. They need to gra grab the picks, and in order to grab the picks, they need to have vision. So trinkets need to be upgraded. Sight stones need to be used. Nice headbutt pulverize onto Planeswalker. A nice tomb pick. And is this the same Control Alt Delete I was watching five minutes ago? VS, kind of slacking on this right now, gets caught out giving Control Alt Elite the picks that they need and the first dragon of the game go over to Control Alt Elite. Well, they pick up the first dragon of the game. In essence, it is the fourth dragon. Uh, but control out the lead making the taking the little wins that they can find doing the best that they can with what they have but here comes the push of VS in this mid turret they have to let it go considering the fact that they don't have Tinteran or Jorman and VS will easily pick that up Oh, Tintaren getting caught by Planeswalker right there. Masu dropping quite low to Looney Tune. Chaos Claw on the end of that actually heads butt pulverized Looney Tune into tower. He needs to get out from there. Nice Zhonya's to save his life, but I don't think it's... Well, meanwhile, it is going to be enough. Nice heal popped as well from Rambo to save his mid laner. But Chain CC under tower. A nice play from Control Alt Elite. But with that, the first inhib turret falls. VS Rambo and Valorant though. VS just going to flash over the wall. Valorant not having it available will be the sacrificial lamb. Mesu picking that up. 4 1 and 1 on that Ari. And they. You know, Control Alt Delete also have all the gold that they want onto the people that they want. Unfortunately, Tin Terran having a rough game of it. Zero six and one on that Caitlyn. Planeswalker being a little bit cheeky in this bush, knowing that Tintaren is all alone. The smite is a put down. Tintaren flashing away, but Blade of the Ruin King onto Tintaren. The auto attack damage is going to be enough, as Planeswalker will pick up Tintaren yet again. Uh, Caitlyn not able to farm anywhere at all. The vision though for Control Out the Lead is phenomenal. Unfortunately, they're just so far behind, they're not able to make use of it. Apollo getting away with his life though, but at the cost of Chaos Claw, he is surely gonna go down. Medallion being popped out, but the the chase is just too much. Waffle Waffle picking up his fourth kill of the game. As VS Rambo and Valorant are gonna chunk away at this inhib. And we'll get it for themselves. Planeswalker having a whale of a time down in the bot lane. Just slow pushing it for Apollo getting caught out. Looney Tune jumps on him and that's going to be a kill for the Bloodthirsty support Valorant. As Jorman actually ice tombs Looney Tune but has no follow up damage. Valorant will flash stun Jorman as he as Zenith Blade was on cooldown, but Jorman claws away. Meanwhile, Planeswalker and Rambo trying to work at the out at the second inhibitor. Ultimate from Tintaran actually not picking up the kill for Planeswalker, able to dodge out of that. I think VS Rambo taking the shot for his jungler. But um, now control out the lead, have an inhibitor down, have another one naked, will have to defend for their life. But now VS have a control over the map despite the phenomenal vision from control alt elite. It's just a little too late. Um, if this had happened uh, earlier, they could have made something. Uh, they could have stopped, sorry, the rotations coming out of Victoria's Secret. 
but better late than never. We'll see if they can find the picks that they desperately need to come back into this game. Now Dragon is spawning in a minute 30. But it looks like VS is trying to clear out the jungle or the vision of Control Alt Elite on that Baron Pit. The Planeswalker will actually just start it up. Waffle Waffle is here now as well as Looney Tune. Now Looney Tune doesn't have that much of mana. Chaos Claw dropping a ward on the other end but this Baron is falling out quite fast. Here it is. Oh, unfortunately Apollo not able to smite but a big... Ice Tomb onto Looney Tune for Sazanius. Jarman is Zanius as well. Shut down for Mesu. Meanwhile, Chaos Law will pick up a kill onto Rambo. Uh, Jarman is going to duel Valorant in the back of it all. We'll pick that up, but what is happening here? Waffle Waffle forced to flash out Tin Terran. And try to do as much damage, but just like that, it's going to be a 4 for 1 trade in favor of Control Alt Elite. And Baron Alt. Baron absolutely useless now only on one member of Victoria's Secret and then a great fight for Control Alt Elite. The huge Ice Tomb in that pit doing a ton of damage for them. Now Dragon is up in 10 seconds. All of a VS though have spawned out. They're going directly for that dragon. It looks like they're just actually going to miss the dragon spawn. Tintaren and Chaos Claw not going to stick around. And Planeswalker sweeping out. Apollo is here though. Nice enough played and stun on Apollo. Planeswalker is surely going to go on this. Likes his chances as he dives in. Fish onto Apollo. Will chunk him out. Nice solar flare as well just to secure the kill. Chaos Claw trying to save his ADC but Planeswalker just so big right now. Double kill for him. Is it going to be a triple? They're surely going to take Chaos Claw. Valorant will hand that over almost auto attacking a triple kill for Planeswalker as well as the double buffs for himself and the fourth dragon for Victoria's Secret. Messu trying to see what he can do on the flank right now, but with three members of his team down, they just need to concede this inhibitor, as it surely will go down to Rambo and Looney Tune. But control out the lead, have shown some life. Let's see if they can defend here. Stranger things has happened. Looney Tune going in for Sazania's Ice Tomb for Jorman is available right now. They could either put it on Looney Tune or VS Rambo. Either one would be a, a good choice. Mesu could, they could use a pick though from Mesu. A charm could swing the, the battle in their favor if they were able to pick off one of the carries for VS. But it looks like they are just busy wave clearing middle in here has spawned respawned but not for long as vs are working away at that valorant gets caught after the charm gets headbutted into the double towers though will fall but tintaren falls to looney tune they a uh, big ice tomb onto rambo but he will survive not for long though as apollo dragon kicks him there double kill for apollo off the back of that mess who's still alive doing a ton of damage the Waffle Waffle is trying to get out of there though, but he is surely going to fall. Triple kill for Apollo on that Lee Sin. And a four or a three for one trade, excuse me. Now it's a four for one trade as the passive from Scion expires. And a nice hold from Control Alt Elite. VS kind of getting a little bit picked apart that fight not all on the same page it all started with a charm landing on Valoran as he got headbutted into turret um, did go down after that followed by a big ice tomb from Jorman onto Rambo as he was picked off there and without the damage dealers from VS 
Well, Apollo actually getting caught out in his own jungle. Tries to make it away, but Planeswalker will get the shutdown. Chaos Claw will soon follow another double kill for Planeswalker on that Fizz. 9, 2, and 6. Has that Blade of the Rune King, has that Trinity Force. Forces Tin Terran to just flash out of that. Not wanting to deal with this fed Fizzerino. And VS just take a. Uh, Really taking their time to close out this game might be their mistake though considering the fact that control alt elite with these amazing holds but how long will they last super minions now pouring into their base they do have to have tin Terran try to wave clear but big ulti from waffle waffle onto Mesu knock up there as he zones Let's control alt elite out of their last inhibitor now with all three inhibitors dropped Apollo will pick up a kill onto waffle waffle is forced to flash out will waffle waffle get the counter kill he does Jorman with a big ice tomb though but members of control alt elite are just falling right now and just like that control alt elite with another hold. These ice tombs from Jorman are absolutely the saving grace of these team fights. Forcing either Looney Tune or Rambo to not do any damage whatsoever. Now they've held out a Baron. They've held out inhibitors can they hold out on this game now Baron is going to spawn out in about 20 seconds control alt elite not really in a position to do much though they're warding despite them being forced to stay in base there they still have plenty of vision in their own jungle will be able to spot Victoria's Secret But it looks like VS is just going to go for that Baron. It is going to be their second Baron of the game. Again, control all delete not able to contest this whatsoever. As they do have their hands full with super minions. Now they've stopped a Baron before. Can they do it again? They have clawed their way back into this game. Only an 8k gold difference. Now. But with dragon spawn, that is going to be 5 dragons and a baron on to VS. And even with how well these fights are going for control alt elite, can they hold off? against this heavily buffed Victoria's Secret Squad. So that's it, five dragons in favor of Victoria's Secret. They're sitting on that Dragon Slayer buff right now as they charge towards the bot lane of Control Alt Elite. Inhibitors have respawned though for for uh, control out the lead, so they do have a little bit of breathing room here. Now Valorant has not joined the rest of his group. Instead, he is in uh, the mid lane, giving that Baron buff to his minions. Now Apollo going in deep, does not have backup. He does just explode right now as VS Rambo. Meanwhile, in the back of it, Looney Tune one v one Jormon. And there it is, folks. It is going to be a double kill for Planeswalker as VS is going to look to close up this game. Triple kill for Planeswalker on that Fizz 12, 3, and 7. And with that, it's going to be lights out for a control alt elite and Victoria's Secret after four weeks in a row will remain undefeated and claim the number one spot undisputed for week four 
Congratulations, Victoria's Secret.